everybody and welcome to in here. I'm going to show off my uh, bike. Um, it's pretty much pitch black out here. And there's the ground. Uh, I'll turn this off. And there's my bike over there. Hopefully I don't step on that bush while my light's off on my head. I have a Ryback 4, 4 LED, uh, wait, 6 LED headlights. Yeah, on my head at the moment. It's got four modes. And right there in the back is, uh, I'll get up close and show you guys. Right there in the back is my Bell 5 LED. This is old on the back. It's got like five to seven modes or something like that. Haven't counted. Then I got my two iFlux Bell iFlux right here mounted on the forward thing. Here's a Dell Patrol light. It's not active at the moment because there's no batteries. But these are on high mode at the moment. And I get a uh, pretty well distance seeability about nine feet away good enough for riding casual in the desert and such also I got my headlamp so obviously obviously you guys can uh, see that it works pretty well it's got a flood mode and a spot mode there's a little hole right there. I'm stepping on one right there with my other foot. Oh, there's a moth. <laughs> so, uh, you guys saw it from the back. I'll do it from the front. Turn this off. There's a highway in the background. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, each of these lights will come, the iFlux lights will come with a rear um, light. So for about 32 bucks or something, you can get one of these powerful aluminum shock um, shockproof LEDs. They have five LEDs. They go at uh, leaves 30 uh, looms instead of 15 looms like the um, Bell Eye Patrol light so they're basically I got four Bell Patrol lights right here for like 65 bucks And then I got my headlamp that costs like 15 bucks. So this is 60 loans. My headlamp is about, I think, 20 looms with uh, both flood and spot on. So that's about 80 looms uh, brightness. And then this one would probably be about um, 25 lumens. This bell uh, Dawn Patrol light that you can get for like 10 bucks. It just comes with the front front thing, or you can buy just the spire light for 10 bucks. So basically, you get 20 bucks for both of these. <coughs> but yeah, this is my Mongoose League 2.1. Pretty durable. Uh, the only problem I have right now is having to replace my rear tire because some doofus decided to pull out my lock and bend the tire frame. So yeah. And this is my fanny pack in the back. It is mounted to a seat post mount. This is the um, whatever this 
whatever the company that makes most of the derailers. Um, this is the same company brand. Um, this was a bit tricky. These were at uh, almost my, uh, max tightness. Um, but yeah, this was a tricky bit to get mounted onto a frame like this and then keep it above the tire efficiently. And as you can tell right here, this is a full suspension bike. So you got the rear suspension back and then your front suspension right here. So you're wondering how I got that all situation, uh, situated. Sorry, it's a bit cold out here. Is it? That's how far from the tire to the um, seat post uh, rack. So that's about almost four fingers length away. I have to still tighten the suspension a bit so it doesn't uh, bump on the bottom. But you can obviously heighten the seat a bit more so it doesn't, uh, if you're like taller than me, you can heighten the seat a bit more so it doesn't flims around that but um, yeah also like to mention this is a 24 inch not a 26 inch so if you're taller and something and you want a 26 inch I don't know how that's gonna fit with the frame so yeah but I found this bike to be the perfect ability for all I need for my bike full suspension off-road mountain biking uh, able to put a rack on the back and then I got my little fanny pack right here uh, the problem I d was having is I bought a bell uh, stash pack in the front here I'll turn these off so you guys can see um, I was planning to hook you up right here in the front but obviously all these cords and such for the brakes and the shifters and all that stuff is uh, bit finicky. The last upgrade I'm going to do with this bike is I'm going to put an electric motor on it and I'm going to find a place to put the battery for it. Maybe put it uh, like in the back or something <laughs> uh, or right here uh, somehow like right under here or modify this area so the strings don't get um, hit maybe right here but yeah I'm gonna put electric motor and everything all that either in the front or the back the only big issue I have with doing that is that well obviously these are already full size um, I had to do a slight uh, adjustment on cutting these but these are full size grip handles so they're these are more in than usual and they're about probably a couple centimeters away from getting on the bend part of area <laughs> so yeah having to find the ability to have the throttler um, somewhere where it's not gonna fiddle with my gear shifting ability so I can keep everything there and bring the motor throttle there um, it's gonna be a bit tricky but yeah that's my last ability for this bike besides replacing the rear tire and that's my mongoose league 2.1 <laughs> um, I believe there was a company logo named somewhere I forget where it was it's not mongoose I know there was a company named somewhere on this bike mentioned Bicycle mongoose? No. Okay, well, my video is going, so I got only 30 seconds left, and that's that. I'm gonna take my subway I got in here, and I'm gonna go eat. So I'll see you guys later. Peace out.